Hi everyone! Today I'll be teaching you how to use an Azure Logic Apps flow to scan uploaded files for viruses. We will be using an Azure Blob as our file source and upload platform. As a reminder, this will work the same way in Power Automate with the same connectors. To perform this flow, we will be using a CloudMersive virus scan connector. When using a CloudMersive connector for the first time, you'll be asked to input an API key. This can be retrieved at no cost and with no commitment on the CloudMersive website. But before we get started, remember to like and subscribe for more tutorials on using CloudMersive connectors in Power Automate and Logic Apps. In getting started, you're going to need to add a new Logic App for this flow. I already have mine written out, so I'm going to go into Virus Scan Blob. Once you're on the trigger page, we're going to choose Blank Logic App as our template. For our trigger, we're going to be using an Azure Blob trigger. And we're going to choose when a blob is added or modified. This means that whenever you add a new file to your blob, this function will check whether it contains a virus. Within our first dialog box, we're going to select the blog that we want checked. I'm going to choose my assets folder. Then we're going to choose the number of blobs to return from the trigger. We're just going to select one for now, but you can choose as many as you'd like. Then, for how often do you want to check for items, we're going to leave it at the default three minutes. Now, adding a new step, we're going to once again choose an Azure Blob connector, and this will be our Get Blob Content action. Once you've chosen this action, you can specify the blob that you want selected. Here we will put list of files ID and we'll leave the infer content type as yes. Now we're going to add our CloudMersive connector and this will be in the CloudMersive virus scan. We'll choose the scan a file for viruses action. For our input file, we'll put file content. Then for our final step, we'll be adding a control. Within our control connector, we will be choosing a condition. For our value, we will be choosing clean result, and we will make sure that clean result is equal to true. We will leave our true box empty, as we don't want anything to happen to your file if it comes back clean. In the false section, however, we are going to add an action to delete the blob. So once you've chosen delete blob, you're going to once again choose list of files ID. Now that we've set up our flow, we can save. And once that's been completed, we can run it. Then you can go to the container you selected and add or modify files to see the flow's results. Thank you so much for watching, and be sure to check back in for more tutorials and tips on using CloudMersive connectors and Power Automate.